Okay, wait, what do we have here? We'll make this. So this is a Sumatra Cup of Excellence number nine. <laughs> okay. Notes of pineapple, clove, and cinnamon. It's one of Blue Bottle's exceedingly rare coffees. Um, roasted on September 21st. It should be good to drink. Okay, and what it? <laughs> we're gonna <laughs> brew this. <laughs> we're gonna take this beautiful coffee and we're gonna use the top level Supreme Mocha Master in order to brew it. What makes this different than the normal Mocha Master? Uh, it's got Supreme written on the side. <laughs> That's how you know it's gonna be good. Whoa, it smells like pineapple juice. Oh, wow. It hold is. On. That's fermenty. Wait. That is definitely. Hold on. You guys need to smell the pineapple juice coffee. Yeah, it definitely smells like pineapple juice. So they're not wrong. Wait, wait, wait. In one regard. <laughs> it <laughs> smells like pineapple juice. <laughs> this is not, not going to be good. Look at the roast. The roast isn't even bad. No, it's pretty good. No, no, no. Blue so, like, Blue Bottle actually has some good roast, like, with the higher end and stuff. And they're on too. Yeah. No. Okay, so how do you how do you use Mocha Master? I don't know how you use Mocha Master. It's just an automated pour over. So all you're gonna do is you put in however much water you want. They have lines here if you're not uh, feeling like you want to use a scale. And um, then you put your coffee in the filter at the top, and you push the button, and out comes coffee. Yeah. So my understanding of Mocha Master is it's definitely one of the more like temperature stable, higher end uh, yeah, it's, automated pour over. It's super things. simple, and mm -hmm. the nice part with Mocha Master is um, it's just like this is the shower, right? So it, it percolates up, so it mm -hmm. goes through the tank, percolates up, comes across, and then sprays out over the top. There's a bunch of mods people do so that you can get like a more even flow or something, but in my experience, it's actually pretty good. And then this is the filter. Cool. It's yeah. like a Melita. Yeah, it's essentially just a Melita number two. Standard Melita filters. They go in, and um, we're gonna put some coffee in there. Yeah. What do you What do you usually dose on? So I go master? with the same the same ratios I would normally do on a V60. So it would be like an 18. Uh huh. In maybe 375 out. We got a bunch of people, but that sounds reasonable for this, right? So we'll dose out 18 grams of coffee. Mm hmm grind it up and let it go. All right, and we're gonna use this fancy blue bottle coffee. It actually yeah. does smell really nice. I, I know people rag on blue bottle a lot, but this is a pretty good roast. It is. It's actually very even. We'll save this it kind of is day. funny that it comes in a tin like that. It and is then really the, nice. The packaging's super nice on, on these blue bottle coffees. It's very nice. All right, and we're uh, gonna use the P1 Hundo. The P1 Hundo, which has been in uh, one of your videos before. In this, in people complain about the painting. <laughs> I know. <laughs> um, here we're gonna go pretty coarse. All right. All right. The magic of the P100 workflow. It smells. It smells crazy oh, now it, that it's what brown. Is, what does it smell like? Robert, I'm going to ask you for your brew water. Oh my god. Do you want to smell that this? Is, that is this process. is your, you need to uh, This is log like this the stuff. type of stuff you'd like. Oh, yeah. This is the pot. <laughs> yeah. Wait, you, you need to take some of this for yourself. Oh, this is processed. <laughs> All right, so you just dump it in there. Yep. Oh, wait, did you guys need the catch cup? Dump it in. This goes up top. You don't even want the filter because uh, it's a Mocha Master. I don't know. I'm sure you could, and maybe it would be better. And then it just, yep. do you, do you, can you change any of the settings on this? Uh, the only setting go? you have is it half or full pot, uh -huh. which I don't actually know the difference. <laughs> um, I've but never, it just it, works fine. Probably. It's got a hot plate. Yeah, it works fine. That's kind of the magic. Um, I want some of this brew water. Is this just crystal geyser? Holy water. All right, we're going to use holy water. Holy water. I hope the scale can do another 375. I... It's so tiny. Oh! <laughs> you know scale what? We're going to go full that. Mocha Master then, and we're just going to get it to the line. So you, you got to get it about just the, about, about the four. About the four, okay. So, right? We use scales and we try to be super consistent, but sometimes you just gotta enjoy the cup. 
right? Yeah, this is, I mean, this is what I think most people are doing anyway. I don't think anyone... I don't think who's weighing their coffee <laughs> yeah. now. Not with a Mocha Master, at yeah. least. All right, and then we push the button, and it goes. Here's some holy water. I'll move this. <laughs> Takes like a second for it to heat yep. up. And then it, it's going to do its thing and be happy. Oh, yeah, it's already boiling. Yep. Watch it blow the circuit because the GS3 is also <laughs> hot. <laughs> yeah, I literally never had Mocha Master coffee, so it'll oh. be this will be exciting. I really enjoy a Mocha Master. All right, there's the percolation going. I was gonna go that And the water is coming up here. It's saturating the grounds. Yeah, here you wanna. We can. Yeah, that's gonna mess up our temperature. It will a little bit, but you can at least see how oh, it goes. You can, okay, so it's doing pulses. Yeah. Wow. Oh, dude, that coffee smells, smells crazy. It smells really good. I think this is gonna be fun. And then your coffee comes down there. Yep. Yeah, you can see it kind of coming about the bottom of the filter. It does have a nice quality of life feature if you pull the carafe out. Yeah, there's a stopper so the one, mm -hmm. it doesn't drip. Oh, cool. Yeah. It should taste better because it's supreme, right? I, I think so. I think the supreme helps you like get the full flavor. <laughs> yeah. I don't have the supreme cups. That's no, don't you have the supreme? I have the supreme espresso cup. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have the supreme espresso you cup. You can drink it, but this is kind of oh, tiny for a, a brew. A mocha. Yeah, well, we're sharing they with a bunch a, of people. We are sharing. But they do have like actual mugs. I uh -huh. should've got those. You gotta drink this brew out of the Supreme Cup so it yeah, tastes fully better. Fully Supreme. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, as far as like, in the morning, if you don't wanna deal with making yourself a pour over, you just wanna like, you know, you hit, hit the machine, you push the button, out comes great coffee. Like, it's not gonna be as good as, as all the effort to make like your own brew on an mm -hmm. April Brewer, but it's, Maybe 95% is good with 5% yeah. of the work. Yeah, it's easy. Just put the coffee in and water in and push yeah. the button. Plus, this looks sick. It does. On, it, honestly, on this. it looks really yeah. good. Yeah, you can see the full spread now that the GS3 is also here. Yeah, you got the GS3, custom colored decent, and then you now have the Mocha Master on yes. the side there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, so it looks like it makes a nice. Yeah, they make a nice. Okay, so I think it's done. That was. Uh, we're done, right? Yeah, that was really fast. It yeah. was like a few minutes. Yeah, it's pretty quick. Uh, let's see in here. Is there any more coffee? No, it's all done. Okay. Everything's drained. It might have been a little too coarse. It's good enough. But we can see. All right. There it is. Nice. That's actually pretty dark. It's, I think I'm excited for this. It's probably a pretty soluble coffee. Yeah, let's. Hey, you gotta pour it in the Supreme. Uh, you gotta oh, pour it in oh, the. Oh, it smells crazy. Here, we'll give it the full. All right, double supreme. 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 <laughs> All right, Brian, you want to hit it? Absolutely. I haven't tasted it yet. What do we think? It's, it smells like pineapple juice. It, it honestly yeah. smells like pineapple juice. It has a pineapple wine. That doesn't smell. It's very, um, very fruity. Very, very fruity. A little funky. Yeah, there's funkiness, pineapple in here. It kind. Of, it tastes like a pineapple candy. Like, you know, like the fake pineapple flavor? Like, not real pineapple, but mm -hmm. like... Yeah, this is Blue Bottle. Yeah, this is Blue Bottle. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people don't think Blue Bottle can Dude, roast who wants like the, this. There's another little bit, whoever wants. It actually is pretty good. Yeah, I mean, it's pleasantly roasted. It's actually good. That was and the magic of a Mocha Master. Yeah, and we can share with all these different people here yeah, off of a single brew. Finish it. Enjoy it. Uh, I don't want to know. For like, what, 50 grams? I think it was, it must be like 80 grams. Oh my god. How much was the 